Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we have some amazing news. So let me actually show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I turn off my phone right now and I send myself a text message from another smartphone, watch what happens on the screen. As you just saw, we have now an LED notification. Now let's see that one more time in a different color. So let me resend myself a text message. I want you guys to see this in nice, clear detail. And there we go. Now, as you can see, this one is a little bit different color. It's the orange color. And this is in fact an official update from Samsung so you can start using it right away as long as you install the GoodLock application. So let me show you how to get this done, how to download this official application and get this process rolling. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your app drawer and then you wanna scroll over to the Galaxy Apps Store. So that's gonna be in your Samsung folder, it's the Galaxy Store. And if you cannot find it, just go to the Finder search and type in Galaxy and it's gonna show, show right up. So you tap on it, and what you wanna do is you wanna search for the Good Lock application, Good Lock application. And if you already have it, that's great. We're gonna go right inside. I'm gonna show you how to enable this thing. So I already have it over here. What you wanna do is you just wanna install the Good Lock application and then click open. And then from here, at the bottom, as you can see, you have the unit option and the family option. You go into the family option and then go into Edge Lighting Plus, go inside it, and make sure you install it. Now, if you have not have this installed, what, you, what it's gonna do is when you tap on it, it's gonna take you to the actual Galaxy Store from where you can install the Edge Lighting Plus. Now, once you install the Edge Lighting Plus, you can quickly enable the LED ring from the actual settings of your Samsung smartphone. There's actually, there's actually two ways to get it done. I'm gonna show you both of the ways. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, and then you wanna go to display, and this is gonna be activated after you install Edge Lighting Plus application. And then you're gonna scroll down and go into Edge Screen, and then go to Edge Lighting, and then go to Edge Lighting Style, tap on it. And from here, what you wanna do is you wanna pick, uh, tap on the effect, and make sure you pick the Eclipse effect. So you have all these other effects that give you all kinds of different notifications. But what I want you to do is I want you uh, to grab the Eclipse effect right over here. And as you can see on the top, you get a nice little preview every time you tap on this. Now, of course, you can change the color of this notification, as you can see. Uh, you can change the duration of this notification, as you please, and then you click Done. And that's it, okay? Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna go to Manage Notifications, and from here, you can actually enable this for all applications, or you can selectively pick various applications. So let's just disable this and apply it to Messages and WhatsApp. You can also do it for your phone or any other application you want. And then when you go back out, uh, if I turn off my phone, let me do that right now, send myself one more message, and boom, as you can see uh, in a second, we're gonna see that beautiful LED notification, this time in orange color. Okay, so let me go right back in. Let's go back into the settings, and that's it guys, this is an amazing little news. So we have the edge lighting style under Eclipse, and that's gonna give you this beautiful little LED notification around the cutout, whether you have the S10 Plus, uh, S10e, or the S10. So remember, you can change the color, you can change the duration, and of course you can pick the apps that you want this to apply to. All right, so that's fantastic. And of course, one thing I forgot to mention here is you can also go to your app drawer. After you download the Edge Lighting Plus, you can tap on Finder Search and just go directly into that application so that you can actually start to modify uh, the uh, LED notification around the hole. So you can tap on this. It'll take you straight into the Edge Lighting option that allows you to pick the effect known as Eclipse, okay? So again, you can either go to the Edge Lighting Plus application, uh, which should be right here. Again, if you can't find it, just search it after you install it, Edge Lighting Plus application, or you can go to the settings, go to the display, go into the Edge screen and go to the Edge Lighting and tap on the Edge Lighting style. So that's the same thing where it takes you, all right? Let's move on to the next amazing update. So basically, if I go into my screenshot option, which is right over here, 
you can also press the power and volume down if you want. I just like to use the edge soft key edge option. So when I tap on screen capture, now you're going to see a video recording option on the top over here. So if you tap on that video, let me do that one more time. So anytime you take a screenshot, it now allows you to natively record the screen of your smartphone. So you can record everything. Just agree to the terms. There we go. Okay, so the screen is currently being recorded. Everything I'm doing here is re being recorded in high quality at 60 frames per second. And this is the controller. You can move this around. Uh, if you tap on it, it allows you to write, erase, whatever. You can click on stop. And that's going to save that video into your actual gallery. So if I go over here, it says video recorded. I can tap here to view the details. Then I can just tap on uh, any, any player. Let's just do VLC for now. And it's going to show me exactly what I just did. And as you can see, that controller button is not recorded inside this option. So this is absolutely brilliant. You can now record your screen start to finish natively anything you do on your phone using the good luck application that's going to be right here so let me give you the name i just forgot about that so you do go to good luck okay you tap on it you go all the way down and this is going to be called as the nice shot feature so with the nice shot again if you tap on it if you have it installed it's going to go over here if you do not have it installed uh, it's going to take you to the store from there you can actually uh, install this but uh let me go back to good luck go to uh, the nice shot option. So you tap on the nice shot option. These are the options that you have uh, which you can use to modify your uh, screen recording capabilities. And again, you can choose the video quality. Uh, you can mute or unmute the sound. You can record the system sound or the system sound and the mic so you can record your voice. You can even create a tutorial. Now, just to be very clear, you want to download nice shot and every single time you use any method to capture your screen, let me do that right now by tapping this over here, it is going to bring up this option that you tap that's going to start to record the actual screen. And you can always click on the stop button to stop that recording. And every time you do that, it records and dumps that file into your gallery. Now, one more thing you must have noticed is this. So again, if I do a screen capture, uh, next to the video symbol, there's also a number sign. So if I tap on this one, this allows me to tag uh, the screenshot that I just did. So I can use existing tags, you know, I can choose the ones that are here over here, or I can uh, do my own. So I can just do Saki Tech, right? And then I can click Save. So that picture does get saved into my photo gallery, but also has tags. And then what I can do is I can go to the gallery, and that's the, uh, the image that I just saved. And when I swipe up, it's going to show you all the tags over here that I used. Okay, so these are the tags that were used with that screenshot that I just did. Uh, again, if you tap on this one, you tap on the number sign over here, and boom, you can add all the tags that you want. I forgot to add Saki tag. Let me just show you that one more time. Click plus, make sure it's uh, selected. Click save, and then go to the gallery. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the new one over here. And when you swipe up, you'll see the Saki tech tag right over there. Okay, so all kinds of goodies all over the place. And of course, some of you guys might be familiar with the Good Luck application and some of you might not be. But again, when you download the Good Luck application, make sure you go and look at all these other options here as well. So just to give you one example, I can tap on Quick Star application and install that application. Let me just close that, battery's almost dead. And once this application is installed, I can go back into the Good Luck uh, uh, app over here uh, in the Galaxy Store, click open, and then tap on Quick Star and even customize the actual notification panel, uh, which is right over here. So for example, uh, if I enable this, I can pick this one over here, click apply, and now my notification panel has a different color, okay? So if you did not know this, these are the things you wanna look for in the Good Luck uh, app from the Galaxy Store. Let me just give you one more example. Now you have a green notifications panel, uh, I mean red, so that's fantastic. You have many more, okay? You can also make some other modifications. So that's all going to be residing in the Good Luck application uh, from where you can download the unit apps over here or the family apps right over here, okay? But the big thing today was the Edge Lighting Plus and, of course, the Nice Shot feature, which are brand new Good Luck 2019 
updates. And of course, there's a quick update for you guys. I'm gonna actually make another video giving you more details. There's some other enhancements to the Good Luck application as well, all right? Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. If you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.